Hi, I'm Maggie Kim from 325 Camera, and I'll be showing you how to use these DNA kits. So in this bag, there will be two things. First will be this manila folder, and the other will be these documents. I'll show you what is inside the manila folders first. There will be this plastic bag containing these two cotton swabs, this green consent form, and these two um, containers where you will later put your cotton swabs. Sometimes they don't um, have any liquid in them. If so, please don't worry, they're still usable. Um, one other thing to mention is that just please check if that all the DNA kit numbers are matching so that even when you send it back into the lab that they won't get the results mixed up. Um, so these three documents, the first one is um, contact information sheet. Please fill this out. Um, second is a welcome letter from FTDNA, and the third is a how-to DNA kit on your own sheet. Um, before we talk about what you should do prior to testing, there is one thing I would like to mention. We have the 2009 version of the DNA kits, so this is the one where you push, not break off. Um, so back to how to test and what to do before testing. So at least 30 minutes before you test, there should be no drinking, no eating, no smoking, or brushing teeth. So preferably, it would be best if you did it in the morning as soon as you woke up. The second thing is, please do not touch the cotton part of the swab, nor do you want to hold the swab by the end. This is where you push it in, so if you touch it, the swab might come out and you might be unable to use it. Um, this is for collecting your DNA, so if you touch this as well, it also becomes useless. When you take the cotton swab out of its packaging, you want to peel all the way to the bag so that the cotton swab does not get damaged. Once you have it out, you want to place the cotton swab on the inside of your mouth, right on your cheek. Last thing to note is, since there are two of these cotton swabs, one is for each cheek, so you do not want to go back and forth while you're swabbing. Now for the testing part, you can go ahead and just uncap the container lid so that it's easier for you after you've done testing. Um, make sure that you peel the packaging all the way to the end so that you don't damage the cotton part of the swab. Hold it by the middle. And you wanna make sure that the cotton part touches the inside of your cheek and that you scrape for at least 30 seconds, like so. After you scrape for at least 30 seconds, hold it carefully, place the cotton swab inside the container and press on the top to release the cotton swab on its own. After you're done with that, you can cap the lid on again. Once you're done with testing, please make sure that you have filled out your contact information sheet as well as your green consent form. You want to print your name up here, choose your gender down here, write your signature here, and for this bottom part, you can just fill out blank. After you're done with everything, you want to put all three of these in this plastic bag. So if need be, you can fold this accordingly, like so. After you put everything in and you just close the bag, you're done. Now, all you have to do is wait. The process of getting your DNA results in usually takes about at least two to three months. We have to ship the kits back to America and from then on, the company has to um, process the data that they've received. So please be patient with us. Um, while you wait, you can visit our site 325camera.org or you can visit our youtube channel which has at least 100 videos right now from adoptees who have shared their own personal information and picture in the hopes that their parents will see it so if you're interested in partaking in this digital library please contact us at 325camera at gmail.com